Urban disasters are characterized by large numbers of buildings collapsing and trapping people inside, buried within the rubble in hidden structures called voids. Specially trained urban search and rescue dogs are the fastest way to locate these hidden victims. The dogs, using their sense of smell and incredible agility, find victims, start barking, and continue barking until their human handler arrives. The Canine Assisted Robot Deployment CARD project asks the question, what happens if the handler cannot reach the dog and the victim? This situation occurs when rubble is too difficult for people and robots to travel over. Since the dog cannot provide any details concerning what it has found, a small robot carried by the dog is automatically deployed to sense the situation around the victim's location and provide information for the human search team to plan a rescue. Uh, today we're testing an experimental system uh, which is a compendium of a bunch of different technologies we've been working on in the lab. So the first is uh, something called the canine remote deployment system uh, with bark release, meaning that a dog will carry a pack uh, and will bark and the pack will be released. Uh, now, why would you be interested in a dog barking? Well, that's how urban search and rescue dogs, or USAR dogs, actually indicate the presence of a human live victim. Uh, so we have such a dog, and we're going to strap our CRD CRDS onto the dog, and the dog will run up, hopefully, to the victim, which it will find, and uh, it will bark, and from there we will drop Giz. Uh, we have something called DEX, or uh, Drop and Explore. It's a robot designed to be dropped from a dog to actually help find a victim. You ready? Ready. Dogs are the best mobility system on a rubble pile, bar none. Yeah, the lights on now. Should be able to see. Oops, give me a sec. We put cameras on the robot. Now we actually have a camera system called CAT, ironically, uh, canine augmentation technology that goes on the dog. But the dog leaves the scene, so we want something that actually will stay behind. Uh, robots have a good linger time, so they can stay around with the victim, they can continue to monitor what's happening at the site where the victim is found, uh, and uh, there can be a, a line of communication established through the robot. Ryerson's done a lot of training with Dare. Dare is just a very calm, very patient. Dare goes back to the kennel every day and he says to his buddies, he says, how many Ryerson University students does it take to dress a dog? <laughs> Usually two, from my experience. <laughs> you know what, over the past eight years, he's just, he's done so much that, uh, very well experienced, very methodical. Believe it or not, I mean, he just seems to know, uh, he seems to know the task that's at hand. You know what's, ama you know what's amazing about this? You've got three live humans Ready? standing on the rubble pile. So he's going up to search for a buried subject, right? So when, so when he goes up there, he doesn't know. How does he know that he's not going to find one of them, that he's going to find a person buried? That's how smart the dog is. So, this is the target. Alrighty. Yep, let's see if uh, you're down there for another 10 minutes, I would think. Uh, at the moment, Patrick is providing us a scent trail. You ready, Jimmy? Okay. Right. Come on there. Uh, dogs are able to easily detect this and through a process called air scenting. So uh, the dog will put its nose up in the air and it will do a form of doggy calculus to determine what the best method of uh, getting to this location is. Where the dog determines the highest concentration of scent is, is when it will start to bark. I think it went fairly well. We have a one complete end-to-end -end test. What a good dog. What a good boy. Oh, what a good we have a one example of a dog carrying a robot with a, in the underdog sling, uh, being carried, 
uh, up the rubble pile and then uh, victim found and released by the dog uh, within zero feet of the target. We have video of the entrance to where the victim is uh, sent back from the robot that was released by the dog and the dog came back unharmed. So it was a good day.